Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about escape velocity. Now escape velocity is the velocity that the object needs to be moving at to escape the gravitational pull of the um, thing it's orbiting, so for example the Earth, etc. Now it all of course depends where you are in the orbit. The closer you are to the object's surface, the more energy you're going to require to actually leave the gravitational pull of the object. And this all comes from the idea of potential. Now, potential at any point tells you how much energy either you need to add to the object or the field gives to the object to basically move it to infinity. In the case of gravitational fields, because they are attractive, you need to add energy, you need to boost your thrusters, etc., to leave the gravitational field, to go to infinity of this gravitational field. So what I'm going to be doing is looking at this potential formula. So potential is the energy divided by the mass of the object that's affected by the field. So this is the object in field. And we've done this before. We've derived this formula that minus gm over r. Now, this energy is the energy that you need to add or the field gives to actually remove the field, uh, remove the object from the field. So this is the energy you need to add to go to infinity. In this case, I'm going to talk about getting it to kinetic energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the kinetic energy formula in here. So I'm going to do a half mv squared over m equals minus big G m over r. Okay. Now, I already know that I'm going to add it. So I'm actually going to remove this negative sign here. I already know I'm going to be adding this energy. I'm just trying to work out the magnitude. This is telling me, this sign just tells me, do I need to add it or does the field give it to me? So what happens is these m's cancel. And I end up with v squared, a half v squared, equals g m over r. v squared is 2 g m over r, which means that v equals the square root of 2 g m over r. So this v equals 2 g m over r, this v is the escape velocity, because it's the velocity that would give me the enough kinetic energy to leave the field. And we're going to have a go how much kinetic energy and um, what's the velocity we need to add at the Earth's surface. So v equals the square root of 2 g m over r, okay, and this, so 2 times 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 times by 5.98 times 10 to the 24, the mass of the earth, and that is on your data sheet, uh, divided by r, which is the radius of the earth, which is 6.37 times 10 to the 6, and that again is on your data sheet 2, I bung this into the calculator 2 times 6.67 times 10 to the minus 11 times by 5.98 times 24 divided by 6.37 times the 6 and square root the answer and you get an answer of 11.1 kilometers per second. So to, if you wanted to leave the Earth's orbit from the surface of the Earth, that is the speed that you would need to be going. This is the escape velocity at the surface of the Earth. As this number gets bigger and bigger and bigger, this escape velocity gets smaller. And this makes sense because the field is having less and less attraction on you. Now this formula here is actually not on the data sheet, okay? But it kind of is. And it's in a very different part of the data sheet, okay? under Schwarzschild radius, because Schwarzschild radius is 
this formula when the escape velocity is the speed of light, because you can't go faster than the speed of light. So the Schwarzschild radius is basically taking the speed squared in R and flipping it over, and your velocity is the speed of light. And what that Schwarzschild radius is, is how small something can shrink before it becomes a black hole. And more of that will be done in astrophysics. But for now, what you need to know is this is the formula for escape velocity. And how I was able to do that was using this potential, concept of potential, is the energy that you need to add to go to the infinity divided by the mass of the object. And I've made that equal to the actual generic potential formula for the gravitational field. And because I'm supplying the energy by kinetic, I was able to replace this energy with kinetic energy formula. I was able to work out the escape velocity. And that is escape velocity. <laughs>